Hi, everybody. All right. So the great thing about the tech industry is that there is so much disruption and um, innovation. Unfortunately, there isn't a ton of that happening on the communications um, side of things. And communications is a pretty... Uh, pretty near and dear to my heart. Uh, one, because I'm a writer. And two, because, as I'm sure all of you can tell by now, um, I have a speech impediment. I stutter. And stuttering has been a challenge for obvious reasons, because it's very hard to say things. But um, another uh, reason why it's been so difficult is because it has caused me to be um, pretty um, intimidated by different situations, right? So any time that I would have to like talk to a person and say, like, hi, I'm sh 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 Sharon, I knew that it may or may not actually come out of my mouth. And I don't know, <laughs> um, as a stutterer, um, a lot of us uh, have a very difficult time just uh, um, saying our name blah, saying our names, and it's a pretty uncomfortable and embarrassing situation when a person is like, oh, what's your name? And, and um, it, it doesn't immediately come out of your mouth. And so, obviously, um, it's a very tense situation, and and um, and there's a lot of f f f f f f fear involved uh, when it comes to speaking. So um, after you know y y y years of of avoiding um, situations where I um, was going to, you know, have to talk to people, um, I came to a point where I knew that um, I had to make a change. Um, I was terrified to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one. Um, and, um, and, and, as a result, it was hurting all of my relationships, my personal relationships and my professional relationships. And so eventually I came to a point where I had to um, face the fear. And as a result of that, um, I... As a result of facing the fear, um, a lot of doors opened for me, and a lot of opportunities came my way. And it's and. I think a part of it was just um, putting myself out there and being in front of people. But another part of it was just being uh, transparent and being open and and showing people that. Um, it's okay 
who have fears, and also that it's okay to be different, right? So how I um, um, face the fear was by speaking. Um, and I started speaking about a year and a half ago because, again, I was trying to um, overcome this fear. And because it was so beneficial to me, um, I, I expect and hope that if you guys have any fears that you are, uh, uh, are trying to deal with in, in y y y y y your own life, um, I, I ch 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 challenge you to, um, to explore those fears, right? Like, a lot of the times, we, we, we rely on our strengths to, to, um, to help carry us uh, through situations. But oftentimes, our weaknesses are, are the things that are going to make us stand out. And the things that are going to make us a lot more um, 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 interesting, right? Um, a part of the problem is that people view weakness and how kind of in 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 the same vein, but those aren't necessarily had things. Um, the Italian intellectual Eugenio Calorni believes that doubt is creative because it calls for alternative ways to see the world. So, uh, what would happen if you applied that same logic to how you deal with your own fears? Sorry, check out some notes. <laughs> I um I love to read and uh one of my favorite authors is Haruki Murakami and uh he actually uses a form of weakness in his writing um uh, one of the uh, reporters for the um, for the for the Atlantic um, actually said about him that no great writer writes as many bad sentences as M -M 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 Murakami does, and if you've read any of his work, then you know um, exactly what uh, he's talking about. Um, um, it's very disjointed, right? A lot of the sentences are either run on sentences or, or they're very choppy. Um, the plot takes you from the uh, supernatural to reality in, in very bizarre ways. 
And I don't know how he does it, but, but it works. Um, he actually uses weakness to his um, advantage so well that he's now um, one of the great uh, novelists of um, our time. And he's also very um, individual, and the way he writes is incredibly unique. And that's another um, pretty good tip as well. Um, 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 paying uh, um, un, unapologetically and, and unequivocally yourself. Because sometimes your greatest vulnerability can also be your greatest um, asset. Uh, the author and researcher um, Renee Brown says that, um, definitely want to get this quote right, uh, says that vulnerability is 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 actually the courage to show up and to be seen. And she made the point that we feel the most vulnerable when we are doing things that take a lot of courage, like. Um, um, if we're owning up to something that we did wrong at work, or if we're uh, starting a business. Um, for me, the single biggest act of courage um, I have, I've ever attempted is a uh, is what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, um, standing up here and speaking is a pretty terrifying prospect for me. And so um, um, showing you guys like this vulnerability is both terrifying, but it's also um, incredibly courageous. Um, like I said before, I began to speak um, as a way to break out of my shell, uh, to be able to talk to people and n n n n n n n not be so afraid of it. And so in the beginning, um, I thought that people would judge me or shun me, you know, because I am a person who stutters and I am giving a speech about something, and and that really doesn't make a uh, um, a whole lot of sense. And so um, I came into it expecting the worst. But what, um, but what actually happened is that people embraced me. They were curious about me. And the most important thing is that they were willing to, um, to 
open up to me about things that they struggled with in, in their own life, right? And so, and so, as a result of me just being um, open enough to share, you know, who I am with people, other people were were a lot more open with me. And that's all because I was willing to, to face a fear. So what are you afraid of? Uh, what cares you? And what worries you? And what's la? What makes you vulnerable? That's where your sweet spot is. Um, that is what's going to capture your target audience and 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 make you compelling. A lot of people are going to tell you that you have to be the strongest communicator to succeed, or the best orator to tell a story, um, the most articulate to move the masses. But the truth is, is that a lot of the times, all you have to do is be the most transparent person that you can possibly be. Thank you.